Hello everyone, this is Taria from Hidden Truth Tarot and this is going to be for the Sun, Moon and Rising Sign of Pisces. Pisces, this is your weekly general reading for the 30th of September through the 6th of October 2019. Now Pisces, I'm pulling from the Guardian Angel Tarot to see what major energy you may be dealing with this week. I'm also using the Pictorial Key Tarot for your weekly general messages. And Pisces, at the end of your reading, I will be pulling several I Am Positive Thought cards for you as well. So we have Ten of Abundance. Beautiful, Pisces. Very positive. Thank you, Spirit. All right, what else does Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising sign need to know this week, Spirit? 30th of September through the 6th of October, 2019. Thank you, Spirit. Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising sign. Thank you, Spirit. All right, Pisces, we are ready. Situation of the week, we have the Nine of Wands. Crossing you is the Ten of Pentacles. Love it. This is coming up twice here. So very significant. In your foundation is the Hanged Man. Recent past energies is the Five of Wands. Crowning you is the Queen of Cups. Your new circumstance is the Emperor. From the bottom of the deck, the overall energy is the Hermit. All right. All right, Pisces, let's take a look at your major energy right here. Let's go ahead, though. We have two tens here, so that's very significant. And we also have two nines, so we have the number 99 and 1010. Go look that up. Um, you can Google it. There is a message there from you from Spirit. All right, Ten of Abundance. Heaven has provided so many blessings. Your family members are bonded and working together. The children are provided for and a comfortable retirement will one day come along. You've taught your family the grace that comes from knowing right from wrong and you should be very proud. Beautiful, amazing energy right here. I'm getting traditional family values as well as what comes with that energy of the Ten of Abundance, Ten of Pentacles as well. So now you have the Hermit, and this is your overall energy. This is the energy of Virgo right here. All right, this talks about pausing and reflecting, going into Hermit mode, uh, gaining that spiritual enlightenment to figure out which direction to head in. All right, this is you really taking time out before making decisions and making sure you're not overlooking anything as well. This also represents that you are allowing yourself to be uh, at peace and gaining patience as well within the process of what it is that you're working towards. Now we have the Nine of Wands coming up here as the situation of the week. This talks about you being prepared, you having an awareness about what direction that you're going in and you're really tapping into your inner well of strength here this is the energy of the spirit of perseverance this talks about you knowing you know where you're going and really tapping into that that inner strength and allowing yourself to continue to move forward because you know this is kind of the wounded warrior type energy card uh, this talks about it may have taken years to collect all of these wands. You may have even been wounded in the process of what it is that you're going after. But you're not going to allow anything to get in your way, Pisces. You're going to persevere. It's a This energy right here talks about having a great deal of strength that you hold within yourself. Now we have the Ten of Pentacles and you're crossing uh, position. Again, this is the same energy as Ten of Abundance. This talks about, you know, good wealth, good health, stability and security, traditional family values, 
This is what you're working towards. Um, you know, you're building up your financial situation, you know, your empire here. And this is you um, moving forward, I feel, successfully. Some of you may have recently uh, moved up or got promoted within your, your job, what you do on a day-to-day -day basis. Some of you may have recently changed careers where it's going to allow for more finances and more abundance to come into your situation. Now we have the hanged man in the uh, in your foundation, all right? And this is what's moving you forward. This is what's driving you this week. So again, you're pausing and reflecting. For some of you, you're gaining some type of mystical empowerment. I see you continuously going in and out of hermit mode making sure you're not overlooking anything. Some of you may be giving up negative ways of thinking. Some of you may be giving up toxic habits, maybe even toxic people, toxic environment. There's a sense of self-discovery here, discovery of a truth within yourself as well. And it's allowing for the light to shine and for you to know which direction and allow yourself to listen to your intuition to guide you. We have the five of wands in your recent past energy. This talks about disagreements. This can be friendly competition. This could have been a minor setback for some of you. But I see you have really took time to pause and reflect, and it's allowed you to move forward with this energy. Now we have the queen of cups in your crowning position. This is you, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Uh, this is, I feel like, the energy you're embodying. This is you listening to your intuition. Because this is what you know. This is what you're thinking about. You already know that you've been taking time out to really go within. To seek out the answers that you're looking for. And you understand the psychic energy that is flowing within you and through you at this time. And really going with the ebb and flow here. And it's allowing you to embody this energy of the emperor as the new circumstance. This is the energy of Aries. This is you stepping into that powerful and bold energy right here. What you're working towards. Laying a foundation that's going to be unshakable. Okay? This could be your finances. This could be your home. This talks about you having authority over what it is that you're working towards. Some of you may be leaders. Some of you may have moved up into a higher management position. This is you taking control over your life, asserting yourself, and starting those new projects. Maybe going into business even. All right. Thank you, Spirit. All right, Pisces. Ten of Abundance. Heaven has provided so many blessings. Your family members are bonded and working together. The children are provided for. And a comfortable retirement will one day come along. You've taught your family the grace that comes from knowing right from wrong. And you should be very proud. You're taking time out to pause and reflect before moving forward. And that's beautiful. Continue to listen to your intuition. You know, you have this spirit of perseverance running within you and through you, Pisces. You're not going to let anything get in the way of what it is you're trying to achieve and accomplish at this time. You are going to get it done. This Ten of Pentacles talks about you building up that stability and security within your situation, within your finances. This Hanged Man energy is, again, you may be giving up things that aren't serving your best interests at this time. This can also just be you making sure that nothing is overlooked in moving forward as well. It's like the discovery of a truth. This could be within yourself or maybe within a situation or another person. I feel for some of you, in your recent past, you've dealt with minor setbacks, maybe some disagreements. Um, this could be competition at work as well, but you've been able to move forward away from that, whatever this was. You know, you're going with the ebb and flow here. You're really listening to your intuition. And then you're stepping into your power here with the energy of the emperor and you're taking back power and control over your life your circumstances it's you having authority over what you're building is what i'm getting and you're laying something that is going to be un 
shakable, all right? Your foundation is going to be unshakable where no tower moment can cause it to fall. That's what I'm getting from Spirit. Thank you so much, Spirit. Thank you. All right. I am receptive. I am open to new ideas. I am willing to try different methods. And I consider alternate viewpoints. I welcome intellectual stimulation. I am receptive. I am capable. Obstacles are only as large as I believe them to be. I can achieve anything I desire with comfort and ease. I have all the necessary tools to reach my goals. When I lead with positivity and love, helpful people show up to aid my endeavors. I am capable. Beautiful. All right, Pisces, please leave me a comment. Let me know how these energies are playing out in your situation. I love you, Pisces. I send you all my love, wishes, and blessings, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye, Pisces.